in the hc it says that there will be a single relation with one type attribute from the name we can already understand that we are actually creating one or single table where the primary key and all the attributes of the parent class and the child class are added a new kind of attribute is introduced and added in this relation which will be called type attribute or discriminating attribute this type attribute will indicate the subclass to which each tuple belongs an example will clear everything out here we can see there is only one relation named employee and all the attribute of the superclass employee has been added into the table we can also see the attribute of the subclasses is also added into the employee relation or table but among all of the attributes we can see a different attribute named job type this is the type attribute the attribute which will be identifying the type of the job the employee does if an employee is a secretary or a technician or an engineer or maybe all of them or maybe none of them can be known with the help of this job type attribute let's see the last approach which is more like the previous method in 8d it says that single relation with multiple type attribute so here the relation will be one which will contain all the attribute of the subclass and the superclass but as the name says here the type attribute will be multiple how many the number of type attribute will be the same as the number of subclasses if there are m number of subclasses there will be m number of type attributes here the type attributes are the boolean type attributes where the value of the type attribute column can be either true or false which means zero or one let's see an example and clear it out here the manufactured part and the purchase part are the two subclasses of the superclass part we are creating one relation here named part and all the attribute of the superclass like part number description as well as the attributes of the subclass like batch number manufacture date drawing number supplier number list price all of these attributes has been added into this one relation which is named part for two subclasses we can see two type attributes which are m flag and also p flag the m flag stands for manufactured part the p flag stands for purchase part if the p flag is 1 and the value of m flag is 0 it means that this part has been purchased but not manufactured if the m flag's value is 1 and the p flex value is 0 it means that the part has been manufactured but not purchased if both of the flags are 1 it means that the part is both manufactured and purchased it is recommended to use this method for overlapping constraints these are the ways how you can do the mapping of eer for constructing relations I hope you understood and enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care.